Okay, dokie. Dave's tag, October 29th, 2022. Uh, what do you uh, take for granted? Uh, I think in our society, we take a lot for granted. We take shelter for granted. We take uh, heating and air conditioning for granted. We take uh, just about everything we have for granted because... Uh, we, we can't uh, seem to imagine not having all the luxuries that we have. So uh, Western culture is just that way. Uh, most people will never, never be grateful for anything. So I sure as hell am grateful for everything I have, but uh, most people just aren't. What would uh, be some of the most uh, annoying things about having yourself as a roommate? Um, I don't know if I could live with myself as a roommate. Uh, it would be, uh, uh, irritating after a while, I think. But, uh, as for specific things, it would be literally everything. Uh, you know, uh, having to share things for one thing would be very annoying to me because I have lived uh, alone for a long, long time, a long, long time. And it's, uh, something I'm very used to doing. So pretty much anything would be annoying uh, for any roommate, not just myself. What's uh, something you are uh, self-conscious about? Self-conscious about, eh? Um, that's a hard one because I, I, I don't really care what people think about me. I don't. I, I, I don't give a shit what people think about me i've posed nude uh, on the internet i've uh, i've uh, uh, had dungeon pictures taken bondage pictures taken uh, i've you know been a bondage model uh, uh, i don't care i don't literally don't care what people think so you know anyways uh, what personally personality traits do you value the most and which do you dislike the most? Personality traits, I think, honesty, uh, intelligence. Uh, intelligence isn't a personality trait, is it? Uh, honesty, uh, kindness, uh, I, I like the most. Uh, and the dislike, uh, it's dishonesty. And uh, mean spiritedness. Mean spiritedness. Uh, what small gesture uh, from a stranger made a big impact on you? Small. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I've had a lot of strangers in in this world uh, ask me if I'm okay, for example, while I was in a store, uh, shopping in a store, and I was turning white from the pain that I was in. Uh, I think that uh, gesture of just asking a stranger if they're okay is a really, really profound one. So uh, what smell... What small gesture from a... I just read that, didn't I? Uh, what gets you fired up? Coffee. <laughs> what uh, challenging thing are you working through these days? Challenging thing. Uh, these tags, uh, uh, they're done way in advance. It's uh, still uh, 2020 when I'm doing this, so... <laughs> <laughs> and there's been a lot of them. Uh, what uh, ir irrational fear do you have? Uh, man, this question gets asked a lot. Uh, I didn't make these questions up. I got them from a huge question bank. Uh, irrational fear. I have a very, very blinding fear of spiders. I'm also afraid of heights. My building is 11 floors tall. If I go up to the top floor and look out the window, I get nervous. I really do. I feel fear. So that's looking out a window. I'm safe. I know I'm safe. And yeah, that's, that's an irrational fear. 
What's the uh, best and worst piece of advice you've ever received? Best, uh, just, uh, just be yourself. Worst, fake it till you make it. That was by a job counselor. <laughs> you know, just lie on your resume. Uh, she says, if you uh, had a clock that would uh, count down to any one event uh, of your choosing, what event uh, would you want to count down to? Well, it sure as hell wouldn't be my death because I wouldn't want to know when that was going to be. Uh, I don't know. Um, the next monumentous life event, I guess, uh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's it. Have a good one.